now we can notice what happened to Vandiyadeva who disappeared. Didn't we go near the dark mansion and see him disappear? He first tried to eavesdrop on what the wizard and Nandini were talking about. But none of their words fell on his ears. He had no trouble hearing it. Now he realized that while talking to Nandini, his senses had left him and he had become intoxicated. It would be better to escape without meeting her again. Getting caught by this young queen is more dangerous than getting caught by predators. His knowledge works well in their presence, shoulder ache, a knife in half always has a hand. A hand can also be seen by strategy, you can see a hand even if you scream. But the intellect faints before this Mahini, the hand also loses the power to hold the knife. If she goes ahead again, what will happen to Nehru? To make matters worse, she also has the companionship of a magician. What magic will the two people do together? How much hate does Kundave Pritahan have for her? That hatred is evident in her eyes as a spark. Perhaps he would change his mind and surrender himself to the Reaper. Aren't women's Sabala Sada and Shanchala Budhai famous? So it is better to escape without meeting her again. But how? Enter the garden and find the way. Jump up the wall. If the people who came looking for him were waiting outside the wall, isn't there some other strategy? Come. Where did the luck that helped you all these days go? Think. Think. Use your brain and think. Use your eyes a little too. Look around. Here is this darkened mansion. Why is it dark? What's in it? If you enter it, where will it lead to another door? Can we dive into it for everything? Even if it is not used now, it may be used at another time. Who saw it? Why is it dark? What's in it? If you enter it, where will it lead to another door? Can we dive into it for everything? Even if it is not used now, it may be used at another time. Who saw it? Why is it dark? What's in it? If you enter it, where will it lead to another door? Can we dive into it for everything? Even if it is not used now, it may be used at another time. Who saw it? But how to get into it? What a great, grand door! What a great lock for this! Dad! What pressure! What a gem! Cow! What is this? It's like a small door within a door. This little door opens when you put your hand on it. If luck is, then this is luck. Just pop in and see. Devon entered the darkened mansion by opening a small door that was fixed inside the big door so that it could not be seen. The first thought that came to him when he stepped inside was that even Nandini should not know that he had entered this mansion. So he slammed the small door. The darkness within seemed to grow many times heavier. Within a second of the door being open, some huge pillars were visible. Now even that is unknown. If it is dark, you can't even imagine such darkness. See he. It is like this at first because it has come from light into darkness. After a while, the weight of darkness decreases and objects become faintly visible. After seeing this many times, why are you confused by the darkness? Instead of standing still, walk around. You can keep rubbing it with your hands. Where will the first known pillar now disappear? Vandiyadeva walked a little distance with his hand stretched out like a blind man. Just as he thought, a pillar was knocked into his hand. Cow! What a great pillar! Black stone pillar! Let's circle this and go up. And after walking a short distance, another pillar was caught. But still the eye does not know anything. Suddenly went blind, what? What a crazy idea! How can an eye suddenly become blind? Let's walk a little further. Not a single pillar above. It feels like going down a hole. Cow. Here's a step. Fortunately, we escaped without falling. Like this, how long and how far can you go without knowing anything in this darkness? For some reason, a panic arose in Van Diathavan's mind. I did not dare to go up. You have to go back the way you came. You have to open the door and go to Lada Hall. 
it is better to meet Nandini again and follow her ideas than to plough through this terrible darkness. No matter what promise is asked, if you give it now, it will be taken care of later. Thinking thus, Vandiyadeva returned. But is the way back the way we came? How can you say? Nothing is too much trouble to walk. Where did those black stone pillars go? Can't find the door and get lost? Will you be wandering around like this in the darkness all night? God! What a danger! It is better to meet Nandini again and follow her ideas than to plough through this terrible darkness. No matter what promise is asked, if you give it now, it will be taken care of later. Thinking thus, Vandiyadeva returned. But is the way back the way we came? How can you say? Nothing is too much trouble to walk. Where did those black stone pillars go? Can't find the door and get lost? Will you be wandering around like this in the darkness all night? God! What a danger! It is better to meet Nandini again and follow her ideas than to plough through this terrible darkness. No matter what promise is asked, if you give it now, it will be taken care of later. Thinking thus, Vandiyadeva returned. But is the way back the way we came? How can you say? Nothing is too much trouble to walk. Where did those black stone pillars go? Can't find the door and get lost? Will you be wandering around like this in the darkness all night? God! What a danger! There is nothing knocking on the hand to walk. Where did those black stone pillars go? Can't find the door and get lost? Will you be wandering around like this in the darkness all night? God! What a danger! There is nothing knocking on the hand to walk. Where did those black stone pillars go? Can't find the door and get lost? Will you be wandering around like this in the darkness all night? God! What a danger! Aha! What a sound! The voice that won the body! Where does it come from? It should be the sound of bats flapping their wings. Is it normal for so many bats to live in such darkness? No. It's not just the sound of a bat feather. Footsteps. The sound of someone walking. Who is walking? Humans? Or? Vandiyadeva's throat became dry. I stuck to the upper mind. It was as if someone had suddenly punched him in the face. Vandiyathevan showed all his power and threw a punch. The stabbing pain was as if the hand had been severed. He touched it with his other hand. In the dark he found out that he not only bumped into the black stone pillar but also punched it. Vandiyathevan would have laughed if his hand had not hurt so much Ven, Ven. However, that eased his fears a little. Not completely gone. As I listened, I heard more and more footsteps. At one time it was like reaching. It was as if another time was approaching. Vandiyathevan stopped where he was standing and listened intently. At the same time, his eyes also stared in the direction of the sound. Cow! Light! That's the light! It's getting a bit overwhelming! Coming closer! Smoke with light! Someone comes with a torch! Nandini is coming to find him, or what? So good! If anyone else? Let's take a look at everything. There is no shortage of hiding places here. The distant lamp lit up and showed that it was a spacious hall. It had huge pillars. The pillars were carved with figures of monstrous goblins. A staircase came up from below and there was an arch that turned and went up. He also learned that the torch light came from the bottom of the stairs. Therefore coming cannot be Nandini. Dungeon is it under this dark mansion that I just heard? Maybe that's where someone comes from? As Vandiyadeva had heard so much about the horrors of the underworld, the thought made his hairy legs sweat. The next moment he went and stood under the cover of a big pillar. All the limbs of the very brave Vandiyadeva were trembling. Three figures came up the stairs. All three are human. One had a torch in his hand. Another had a hand. The one who came in the middle was not holding anything in his hand. When their faces were visible in the light of the lamp, Vandiyadeva's panic disappeared completely. 
There was more surprise than panic. There was no one else who came before them, Vandiyadeva's dear friend Kanamaran. The figure in the middle first created a wonderful maze for Vandiyadeva. It seemed that Nandini, the young queen of Palvur, was coming. In the next moment, the illusion was gone. It turned out that the person coming was a boy. He came to know that the prince whom he had seen half-heartedly in the Sambuvarayar mansion of Kadampur was Madhurandik Devar. Thirdly, Vallavarayan had never seen one who came with a torch in his hand. Vandiyadevan's brain was working at high speed. He soon understood the mystery of their coming up the stairs in that underground passage. The maiden of Bavur Ila Iarani climbed the Palak and arrived on the first day. The great destroyer returned to Tanjore Fort that night. Both of them came publicly through the fort gate. But it should not be known when Madhurand Hakativar went out, the return should not be known. For that they use this secret tunnel. This seems to be the mystery of this darkened mansion. Gandamaran, after leaving himself on the banks of the Kalata, has joined the great Pavatareya somewhere else. He is being used by the scammer for this undercover job. He has sent Madhurand Hakativar as an escort to take him to the tunnel. Aha! Uh -huh. Now that I think about it, I remember. I also have a job in Tanjavur. I'll come there too. Kanthamaran said that, didn't he? Now suddenly here, if he were to stand in front of Kanthamaran, what would he do? As soon as this thought appeared, Vallavarayan changed it. At this time, if confronted in front of Kandhamara, he would have to kill himself in front of the vow he had made, or just kill him. Why should we get into such a dharma dilemma? As soon as this thought appeared, Vallavarayan changed it. At this time, if confronted in front of Kandhamara, he would have to kill himself in front of the vow he had made, or just kill him. Why should we get into such a dharma dilemma? As soon as this thought appeared, Vallavarayan changed it. At this time, if confronted in front of Kandhamara, he would have to kill himself in front of the vow he had made, or just kill him. Why should we get into such a dharma dilemma? By this time the three had gone up the stairs. The light began to fade. Vandiyathevan thought for a moment whether to follow them, but changed his mind immediately. It is certain that they are going to the palace of the fort commander Chinapalyavatarayar. What's the point of going back there? It's like giving the head after escaping from the lion's den. There is no point in going back to Lata Mandapam, where Nandini was. Maybe the big predator got there by now. And what else can Agakaran do? Why? What if you go down these stairs? Thinking like this, our young hero went down the tunnel stairs.